Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Investor Intel. And today's very special guest, Mr. Felix Lee, president of the PDAC. Felix, thank you for coming back. Uh, hi, Peter. It's great to be here. Last time we did this, it was in person at the show last year. You know what? I uh, it, last year was all such a blur. I I have to say, and I apologize for this. I have no recollection. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it was a busy week. How are you finding the show this year? You know what? Um, it's it's been it's been again a real blur. Uh, we had a real short timeline to pull the show together this year. Uh, due to well circumstances that uh, that I'm sure you're well aware of and, and can fully appreciate, uh, and I have to say, yesterday was just one of those days where, because the event was going live, uh, none of us really knew what to expect. We've been working on pulling the convention together for quite some time. Um, it was it was a mad rush, uh, and uh, but you know, at the end of the day, it all came down to yesterday, and yesterday went off really uh, in my in my from my standpoint it went off really really well and I, and I know the PDAC crew uh, were very very pleased with how it all turned out and it, it looks like the show is off to a great start. I got some feedback some from friends in Australia who echoed that that uh, it was working out pretty well for them. That's great to hear. So PDAC it, it's like share right you have one name everybody calls it the show. <laughs> It's not the, the Cambridge Wraith, it's the show. And PDAC yeah. has done a tremendous job of defending and promoting miners' interests, not just in Canada, but around the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, PDAC, PDAC, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, it, it, it's not. It's probably not all that well known. Uh, people think of PDAC or PDAC as a convention. Uh, but really, we exist as an advocacy body. So for the 361 days of the year that are not the convention, uh, we are working very hard uh, to support uh, and promote a vibrant, competitive uh, and responsible uh, minerals exploration industry. And so we work uh, very, very hard with um, you know government. We do a lot of work in Ottawa, working with uh, the Canadian federal government to uh, enact or hopefully enact uh, policies that benefit our our uh, our industry. Well, for example, for Canadian miners who are uh, junior uh, explorers or developers, the flow through credit has been extended for an extra year because of COVID. And I'm sure PDAC was a large part of that lobby. That was one of the first things that we jumped into action on uh, was uh, was helping our members who we knew would be impacted by, you know, by the inability to get into the field uh, rapidly and spend flow through dollars. Uh, and so there was a real risk that not only would our, you know, would companies, uh, but also their investors uh, be impacted by, you know, or, or get hit with penalties uh, as a result of not being able to, to spend the flow through dollars. And so, uh, you know, we worked very hard with, um, with Ottawa. Ottawa heard everything that we were um, that we were saying to them, uh, and and we got the extension. Um, it's taken a while for the legislation to come through, uh, and so currently we're also uh, pushing for the federal government to implement a force majeure clause uh, in uh, in, flow through, in future flow through legislation. Uh, legislation. So, you know, if in the event you know, our industry gets hit by something like this again, uh, for whatever reason. Uh, it won't take quite so long, we're hoping, to uh, to get similar extensions uh, put in place. What other initiatives are you working on right now? Uh, oh, where to begin? Uh, so, you know, obviously the mineral exploration tax credit was a big one. Uh, that was something that would get renewed uh, once every year. Uh, and we, you know, two years ago, I think we got the first uh, multi-year renewal of METC. Again, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's things like the mineral exploration tax credit and the flow through regime that you know ultimately incentivize investment uh, into the exploration sector and and help get projects going. So that's you know these are these are some of the really big things that we've worked on and we've had some good uh, good successes on. Uh, other things uh, were you know um, there's uh, issues such as access to land, sustainability issues. Uh, student and early career are, are HR issues uh, that we're all working on. So these are, you know, 
take your pick as to what's the most important issue. They're all uh, they're all kind of intertwined, yeah. uh, and and Pete is work is is working on all of them. And I know you're working on First Nations and Indigenous peoples' relationships around the world, women in mining, uh, corporate social responsibility, all those things yeah. that make a good company. That's right. Uh, you know, equity, diversity, and inclusion is uh, is something that um, we uh, we've taken on this year. Uh, certainly, as an industry, you know, we've made some progress in that area, but there's certainly a lot more work uh, that that could be done. Uh, and PDAC is is helping lead the way. Uh, it's um, it's an area which I think really is uh, is a key imperative of our industry. Uh, we do have. Um, you know, skills, a skill shortage that we're grappling with. And, and as an industry as well, we're, we're poised to play a very critical role in uh, Canada's transition, the, the, the transition of Canada's economy to a low carbon future. And so getting uh, the workforce in place that will help us meet the challenges going forward is, is critical. Uh, and uh, we see issues such as improving our performance on equity uh, diversity and inclusivity as being a key part of that, getting that workforce in place. So is PDAC actually going into the mining schools around the world and working with the mining schools, or is it a softer education process? Uh, I think this is one of these things which is um, you kind of lead by example. Uh, you know, change doesn't happen overnight. Not everyone embraces change um, at the same time. It's a, it's a, it's a process. And I think one of the best ways that you can ultimately uh, enact that change is just through um, just through uh, sort, of, sort of being um, an example to follow. Uh, and so, you know, PAC, we're trying to really kind of uh, hoping to improve our own diversity, uh, equity, diversity and inclu inclusivity performance within the association uh, and, and, and in all of our programs. Uh, and as well, you know, we use things such as the uh, PDAC awards to really emphasize what we believe are important things in the industry. And so we, we kind of, yeah, it, 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 it's really more of a soft approach. So we have a lot to look forward to this week. I know I have things in my calendar. Felix, always nice to chat with you. The world famous PDAC, the show. Thank you, Peter. Peter Clausey signing off from Investor Intel. Have a great day.